How's it going? What's the morale like in the locker room after two consecutive wins? Uh, I would say the morale is good. We're starting to try to find ourselves and find our identity. Um, so after these last two wins, it's, the morale has been great. And how do you use this Saturday as preparation for the next SEC game? Um, this Saturday, you know, uh, SEC is like uh, a year of four quarter games. So as y'all seen, Saturday we kind of got off to a slow start, um, and we got to get better at that. Um, but as far as, you know, using last game as, as a stepping stone for, you know, that was our first SEC W, so we want to take that to heart. But at the same time, we can't, you know, we got to leave that in the past. We got to get better and continue to move forward. And talking about the opening of the last game, uh, what do you think needs to happen to get the team going earlier? Uh, it's just, you know, we got to we got to continue to, um, what Coach Kelly says, consistent application of our process, you know, um, staying locked into our keys, um, you know, just just mainly just staying locked in. You know, the game plan's there, everything's there. We just got to make sure we're, we're staying locked in and jailed up. Is it harder to block for a quarterback that likes to run and move around in the pocket than kind of like a pocket passer? Uh, I would say no. Um, I think I find it easier to me. Uh, you never know what you're going to get from a defense with a, with a quarterback like that. Um, you might get a spy. You might get somebody who's trying to blitz him very heavily. But um, Jaden uses his feet very, very well for us, in particular as an offensive line, to you know, kind of get something out of nothing when there's nothing there. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I think it's easier to play with a quarterback like that. Do you feel like y'all's progression as a unit the last three weeks is constantly getting better and better? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, um, the past three weeks we've had different guys and different bodies in there. And, you know, I think everybody, you know, played well together within those last three weeks. Two freshmen starting last week, SEC game, 100,000 people. How do you think they played? And what does it say to them that they're this young and able to play that well at that stage? I think for those two guys, it was an amazing opportunity for them to showcase their talents and what they'll, what they'll be able to do for us for the rest of the season, you know, and stuff like that. So those two guys, I think, stepped up a tremendous, tremendous amount. Um, you know, of course, we all still got to get better. Um, but them being freshmen, I feel like they played a very, very well game. Um, have you given them any advice about, you know, how to approach the game? Obviously, they're a lot younger. They kind of have to look up to you for that, the way you've told them. Um, yeah, I would say I give them a lot of advice. Um, you know, Will, Emery, those, those two guys are, are young, but they know how to approach the game of football. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you get young guys that come in here, you know, they, you know, they don't really know what to expect from college ball, but Emory and Will, they came in here physically gifted, you know, physically ready to play the game. Mentally, they were ready. They're, they're coming in the meetings early, trying to get extra time and asking those extra questions. Um, and then staying up under the veterans, you know, like, guys like me or Anthony Bradford like asking them like, hey, how do y'all get through this or how do y'all get through that? And we just tell them like, you know, you got to keep your head down and just work consistently every day. How do you guys feel about going into New Mexico? Obviously not an SEC opponent, but someone that you can't take lightly. What's your guys' mindset? Um, it's all about us. That's how, we, that's how we take every week. Mississippi State, it doesn't matter who we play. We, we start with us. It's all about us first. We correct ourselves first. And then we worry about New Mexico State. Like I said, it's a, a very respectable opponent. Um, you know, same type of defense as last week as we played. Um, I believe the Mississippi State GA uh, was, well, the Mississippi State defensive coordinator was the GA under the uh, defensive coordinator at New Mexico State. So I'll be expecting to see a lot of the same things. Um, but like I said, we just focus on ourselves at this point. You guys use a lot of different running backs. Um, does it make it any different for you when you're blocking for them when the guys may be faster or likes to go into holes harder? Uh, no, no, it doesn't make it any different. We just, you know, try to execute our job the best we can and give those running backs the opportunity to make plays.